Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 2 of the FIFA 19 My Player Career. As you know, we did start off yesterday since EA Access has managed to let us start the game a day earlier. Um, so let's jump into the second episode then. We didn't start off the best in the first episode. Uh, we did start with Wolves as you may remember and as you can see there, five games in and we are in the relegation zone. So not where we need to be right now, not where we want to be. Of course, we need to be higher than that. I did, did you notice there that the bottom four were in the relegation zone? Surely that's got to be some kind of bug. Um, Arsenal were down there as well, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Hopefully, it's not the bottom four that go down because, of course, that is not how it works in the Premier League. Well, let's carry on. We want to try and get a win, our first win of the season. Can we get that here at Old Trafford against Manchester United? Highly unlikely. And remember, we are still getting used to the game, getting used to the new controls. And if I'm honest, I am struggling with shooting in all aspects of the game. Um, in Ultimate Team and uh, Career Mode. And we even played, what was it, a friendly earlier when I was doing some recording for the new Match Day Live episode, which will also be up live today uh, because Arsenal are playing in Europa League. So we'll have the first Match Day Live episode on FIFA 19 against FC Vorskla, I think the name is. Uh, they're not actually in the game, so we've had to actually record it with the Adidas All-Star team. Uh, they've got some big names in there, so hopefully that will be an exciting game to, for you guys to watch a little later on. But let's continue on with this one. Uh, there is Ruben Neves, I believe that is number 8 there for Wolves going close. Goalkeeper getting over the goal and making a crack and save, actually, uh, to keep Wolves out. But right now, 15 minutes in, and I have to say, we've had the most of the first exchanges of this game. Hopefully that can continue and we can find the back of the net. Now, we'll take a draw away from home at Old Trafford. It's going to be a big point in this one if we do manage to pull it off. And we also have a cup game in today's episode. It's the Carabao Cup against Oxford, I believe it is. I could be wrong on that, but we will find out once this game is over. Uh, still 0-0, approaching the 20-minute mark. Kai, Kai crossing, shot comes in just off target. But again, Wolverhampton Wanderers going close. And Kai would, have, of course, got his assist if that one had found the back of the net. Uh, but onwards we go. Manchester United in possession. Approaching the half-time interval, Kai again in midfield. He's on a 7 rating. He's just got a plus 1-4 vision for 25 through balls already. Uh, so, obviously, as I said in the first episode, we won't be doing any training at all, any of the training sessions. The only way which Kai will be improving will be through his in-game performances. Um, so hopefully that doesn't dampen him down too much. We don't want him to be growing too fast either. That is the reason behind it. Uh, but here, Manchester United going close. They've hit the woodwork and cleared away. But oh, wow, a great chance there for United to go in front. And I thought for a second it was going to be flying into the back of the net. But thankfully it hit the woodwork, bounced away. And the half-time whistle did blow. So next up for Manchester United, and you saw the top left there. Um, they are away to Everton. Hopefully they're going with a loss in their bank. Because we want to try and get ourselves a win. Good play there from Kai. Finds his teammate on this near side. Wolves have support, but that was a loose ball there. Manchester United back in possession. And I say that, they've lost it again. So, come on, boys. Kai playing a nice little 1-2. Is he going to play the 1-2 again? He hits it from range. Oh, lucky. I think we pressed the button a little bit too soon there, which I think just dragged it a little bit too far wide. Look at that. Just off target, but it was worth the effort. And his stats has actually gone down now to a 6.9 rating after being 7. Uh, so we want that to improve in the later stages, actually, into the last 10 minutes now. It's gone down again, Nine put, sorry, 6.8. And we need to improve on that. Let's try and find ourselves a late assist, if we can. A late goal to win this one. As I said, I do. Um, I will take a, a draw here at Old Trafford. It's a good result, and we almost go in front there. Good save by the goalkeeper, Romero. He got down low fast enough, he completely read that one. But look at this, great effort. Ruben Neves again, one of the danger men here for Wolves with the shot on target, forcing a corner. One last chance here then. Kai is back up into the sevens, thankfully, and cleared away. Poor corner in the end. Maybe one last attack here for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Or not, we're into the final minute. It is Yan Manchester United in possession. Here's Fred, new signing, of course, in the summer. Lukaku couldn't get to that ball and now Wolves are having the last touches of the ball I think of this game I think the final whistle is going to blow it is indeed there is a final whistle then 
Um, not the best results, but of course, it is a point, a big point as well against Manchester United away from home. So we are going to take that one. We was looking for our first win of the season, and it wasn't just there quite yet, uh, but hopefully it will be in the next few games or so. But we can concentrate on the League Cup or the Caribou Cup, as you see there. We are away from home, and it is against Oxford United. Uh, we've got to be the favourites for this one, big favourites. Um, it's just going to be how many goals can we score in fact it's Oxford United who go forward with the first effort just off target though two minutes in nil nil it is Kai on a six rating hasn't really had much to do just yet and I'm sure he's going to get plenty of chances to go forward and maybe grab a goal or two let's see he's going to push through into the opposing half here eight minutes gone good patient passing play here from Wolves Playing in an all-white kit today, away from home. And here is Kaige, waiting for the run of his teammate. Plays it through. Good run here, and the chance is on. Shot comes in. Low-driven effort, and into the back of the net. Ten minutes gone. Oxford United nil. Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. And there we go. That is the start that we wanted, especially after that draw against Manchester United. Getting a good start. And it is Zyro, number 22, who gives Wolves the one-goal lead. Uh, I think it was him, wasn't it? Zyro in there. Let's see, ball played through here, nice little run, first time effort as well there from Zyro, and that gives Wolves a one goal lead then, Mikel Zyro, he is the goal scorer for Wolves, I'm um, not entirely sure how good that player is, but it was a good finish, we know that much, and Kyle is asking for it just inside his own half, here he is, nice little dummy there from his teammate, played back through. Bit of space. Oh, what's they doing? The AI just shooting from that kind of range. The AI obviously have to learn how to do the time shooting. Uh, there's plenty of support with him. I think three players, in fact, but no, he decides to hit it first time. And uh, we need to improve on that. The teammates need to improve on that. 20 minutes remaining, then still leading by one goal to nil. We are looking good to go through to the next round. And uh, there shouldn't be any shocks here, if I'm honest. Uh, but Oxford United are in possession right now and they just lose out and here is Kai waiting for his teammate to get in space which he did and Kai's going to carry on his run surely this is going to be his first goal in the Caribou Cup oh he's dragged it wide uh, unlucky we got to learn those shots the the powerful shots uh, but never mind just off target doesn't matter too much because we are in front by a goal to nil and, wow, how did a play not get that ball? He just let it bounce past him. And it kind of feels like how FIFA 18 felt where the players just let the ball go straight past him. Um, at the start, that is, when FIFA 18 was first released, I remember defenders and players just let the ball bounce and go beside them. It was, it was strange. Thankfully, it did get uh, patched. Corner gets swung in, and it's in. Oh, no, the 93rd minute. Oxford United have scored from the corner kick. Not sure what the goalkeeper was thinking there, uh, but a good corner. The defense, sorry, the striker got up. I don't know if the defenders actually jumped with him. Uh, the Kaida did, but he was there before all three of them. And it is John Messino, the Oxford United captain, who levels things up. And I don't think extra time is in the Caribou Cup, so I think if it ends this way, which it just has, it's going to go straight to a penalty shootout, which it does. Kai finishes the game after 90 minutes on a 7.1 final match rating. And Oxford United, they put away their first penalty. Come on, don't miss. Hey, the goalkeeper just stood there, watched it go past him. It is one apiece then on this penalty shootout. Is there going to be a shock in store? Oh, Oxford United, their penalty is saved straight at the goalkeeper. A chance to go in front. And he's pulled it wide. A great chance there for us to go in front by two goals to one. But he pulled it wide. And now a chance for Oxford to go in front. And they've missed it. The goalkeeper gets down low. Makes the vital save. It's still one apiece. And 2-1 to Wolves. Come on, boys. Is there going to be a decider for Kai? Hopefully not. We're hoping to get this one wrapped up. If they miss this, we've got a great chance. Come on, please miss. Fafana, he puts it into the back of the net. Almost pulled it a little bit too much um, to the right there. Uh, but for him, goes into the back of the net. A chance to keep in front. Three goals to two. Oh, no, the goalkeeper's made the save. It's all square. 2-2. Two, two. We've both had four penalties each. We've both missed two. And a chance here for Oxford to go in front. And they take it. 
So next up, is it going to be Kai? Oh, it is Kai. No way. We've mu we must put this one away, boys. Otherwise, we are out of the Carabao Cup. I think it is the same controls as FIFA 18 on the penalties. Let's just go through this just to make sure. Uh, so right stick to move your player left and right and backwards and such. The left one is for aim. And uh, just to adjust your approaches, the triggers. Okay, so it should be the same. Uh, I think I'm going to go left, the goalkeeper's right. We probably should change it at the last minute, but I'm going to test it. See if we can go um, the same way. And, oh, no. We've missed it, boys. Oxford United, they've caused a big upset. And, of course, it had to be Kai who missed the penalty. And that puts us out then. This is a competition where we wanted to go far, possibly all the way to the final. But as you can see, he's not very happy at all. He misses the penalty. But it's a learning curve, boys. And I'm sure he's going to be the hero in many other games in the future. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. Uh, the Wolves fans won't be, of course. But subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.